Hey everybody, what's up? It's Gasly here, and today we're going to talk about adding a custom CAS or Create a Sim background into your Sims 4 game. If you're new to the whole world of modding or adding things into your Sims 4 game, I highly recommend checking out my last tutorial, which goes over kind of the basics of adding mods and custom content and all that into your game, where to put it, where to find it, all that kind of fun stuff. You can find a link for that up here somewhere. I never know which side it's on. I get lost <laughs> easily, but you can find it up there. And that would be super helpful if you kind of are new to the world of modding and just don't know what you're doing. And so yeah, I highly recommend checking that out. But for today's video, we are going to be looking into adding a custom CAS or create a sim background into your game. So if you usually go into the CAS area, you'll see kind of a boring blue background like this. And we're going to take that and turn it into something unique and kind of custom to what we want our game to look like, like this. It's super easy. It takes a matter of minutes, really, no matter which route you go. And it's really something that adds a lot of personality into your game, or at least I think so. <laughs> there are two ways that you can go about this. You can pick up something that somebody else has made and just drop that into your game like you would any other custom content. Or you can go and make your own. Say that you are an artist or a designer, or you just have something really particular in mind that you want to do for your CAS area for like a profile picture or a special screenshot of your sim. Super easy to add that onto an object and then just put that into your game like you would any other kind of custom content. So yeah, we will be going over all of that today. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the process of adding a custom background to your creative sim is fairly similar to adding any other kinds of mods or custom content to your game. There, you're going to find a lot of those in the same places that you found the custom content or mods in our first uh, tutorial. So two of my personal favorites for finding any of these custom backgrounds is going to be Tumblr or The Sims Resource. And we'll just go over Tumblr here first. There are quite a few. It's really going to be up to what you are looking for. There are quite a few options here. I kind of like these, so I'll go ahead over here and download those. All right, and then let's go over to the Sims resource. And we do know, see, we can see down here at the bottom of the screen here that these are the right type of files because that is a dot package, and that is the... Uh, the type of package that goes into the Sims game. So we're good on those. So on the Sims resource, you want to, why are they advertising cigars to me? That is strange. I do not want that. <laughs> so for the Sims resource, you want to go to downloads, the Sims 4. So you go up here, downloads, over to the Sims 4. You don't want any of the Sims 3, 2, or 1 because that's not going to work in your game. You want to go to mods and then choose subcategory. There are a few different ones here and you want to choose CAS backgrounds. And then from there you can just choose the background of your choice. There's all, just like on Tumblr, there's all different kinds of those. Oh, wait, I like that one. That one's kind of cute. So we'll go ahead and download that one. And of course, as I mentioned in my first video, you want to be sure to pay attention to what you're clicking on because there's a lot of ads and stuff on here that you probably shouldn't be clicking on. So right here, the um, download button, it, this one right here, that is the one that you want to click on. And that will take us to where we wait for 10 seconds because I am cheap. <laughs> Watch an ad on a washing machine. And there we go. Three, two, one, and down. And that one, as we can see, is a dot package also, so that is the proper file type. So once we have those downloaded, we can go over here to our downloads folder. Now it is important that we only add one of these files into our mods folder. Only one of them will work at a time, and it can kind of mess up your game if you've got, like, it's trying to read too many different of the same file for the same thing. So just pick whichever one you want. I don't know. We'll just pick one of those randomly. And then we're going to put that into our Sims 4 mods folder. And this is, as we discussed uh, in our first video, this could be a little bit different depending on where you have the game stored on your computer. But for most of us, this is going to be on um, Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then the mods folder right here is 
highlighted so we can just pick one I don't know we'll do that one and plop, drop that into our mods folder and that should work just fine on our game so we'll go ahead and start up the sims 4 and see how that looks okay so we have our sims 4 game started up and we're just going to hop over into create a sim and see how our new background looks and there we go and you can, of course, go ahead and change the background out if you want, say you decide you didn't like that one and you want a different one. You just want to grab the file that we put in, so that was the haters going to hate background. Then go into our downloads. Have our mods folder pulled up here. So we'll go ahead and we'll try out the, uh, we'll try out that attic one. Dump that into mods and go back and open up the sims again and see how that looks. All right, go back into create a sim. Oh, no, we don't want to build anything right now. And there we go. We have a nice little attic background. I like that painting. That's really cute. Or the wood, I guess that's a wood burning. Huh? I don't know. That's really cute. I like it. But <laughs> okay. So it's really that easy to change your background. And say you have like a specific photo shoot you want to do or something, you can change it out for that. So, but say you can't find what you're looking for and you're like, I just want to make my own. It is so easy. And we will go into how to do that now. So say you've looked all over the different websites and you're just not finding what you want when it comes to a custom background. It's actually super easy to make your own and we'll go through the steps of that here real quick. So there are a couple of things that you're going to need and that includes Sims 4 Studio, a template that we're going to pick up over on the Catverse website, and Photoshop or GIMP, whatever your image program is that you use. So right here, I have this link pulled up and I will go ahead and put that in the description. And that is where you can get Sims 4 Studio for Windows or Mac. You can grab whichever one of those, depending on which type of computer you use. I already have it, so I'm not gonna download it, but it's a pretty simple process to just download and set up, just like any other program that you would get. So you also wanna go over here to the Catverse website where she has these awesome templates that you can grab. And that will kind of give you a guideline of how big and what resolution your image should be for it to work properly on the object that actually is the background of the create a sim area. So you just click on that, download the templates. I actually already have them downloaded, so I'm gonna close out of that and go over here to our CAS background. And here we have the template, which I actually already have pulled up in Photoshop. And we have the uh, Sims 4 Studio object. Where, there we go. Okay. So we are going to open with Sims 4 Studio. Now, this may or may not show up in your on your computer this way. It might have like a listing of other apps and stuff. Just go ahead and go into more apps and you can choose look for another app on this PC. So it might be located in a strange uh, in a strange area. It really depends on where you have installed Sims 4 Studio on your computer. So for mine it is uh, right here program files go down here and Sims 4 Studio. So it's really it's probably going to be in your program files but you just might need to look around a little bit to find this right here where it says Sims 4 Studio and it has the little icon on it. So you also want to make sure that it is the file type is an application. So that is the proper one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it should open Sims 4 Studios. And there we go. Okay. So right here, this right here where it has, it says catalog thumbnail, this little thing, that is actually the background that is in your game. And that's what shows when you are on, um, in the create a sim area. So we want to go here and upload a texture, but we're going to have to create that texture first. So we go over into Photoshop and here it has the area where you want to put your texture. There are a few different places where you can get uh, free royalty free stock images. A few of my favorites are pixels, unsplash, free pick, PNG tree, and there are others, of course, but 
those are ones that I usually find a lot of the images I'm looking for on. Personally, I use a lot of images from pixels in my content creation. I actually already have one that I have uh, picked out. Okay, so in Photoshop, we are gonna go to place. Um, right here is the photo, just choose that. And then we are gonna just drag and drop, resize it. We want that to be that size. And there you go, it's literally that simple. Save as a PNG. So this is gonna be our We'll call that the tutorial test background. <laughs> Save as a PNG. All right, head back over to Sims 4 Studios, import, and there we go. That is how our background is going to look. So we wanna save. Oh, but we also wanna go here and rename this. So this is gonna be our tutorial test CAS background. And it is important to name this something so that you um, so that you can find it again to take it back out of your game when you wanna change into a different, um, a different background. So we'll go ahead and save that again. Our package has been saved, thank you. So we wanna make sure that we've taken our CAS background that we added out of our mods folder and that was the attic room background, okay? Okay, so now that we have our new file created, we're just gonna drop that into our mods folder and then go over to Sims 4 and make sure that that is done correctly. All right, so we're back in the Sims 4. Go ahead and check on little Ghastly here and see that we have our, yep, there we go. Our new background is installed. So there you go, it's literally that simple to make your own custom CAS background. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this useful, be sure to give me a like and uh, subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, and also leave me a comment and let me know what kind of tutorials you're interested in. I might go into um, poses or um, making your own clothes and stuff, so that might be kind of fun, I don't know. Just let me know what you're interested in and we'll see uh, what we can do as far as a tutorial for that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later, bye.